Hey guys, what's up? Of course, you know me, it's Ryan. Um, wanted to show you a little cool thing um, that's going to be taking place. Um, as many as you know, we got our June monthly coming up on Saturday, June 16th, Revival 15. Uh, crazy, we've already done 15 monthlies uh, here in Jacksonville. But uh, this one's going to be a little special. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity has taken place because of what we've been able to do with Revival, along with, you know, Brian and I, Villain Productions, uh, GLHF Game Bar has been a huge help as far as the growth of the community is concerned, too. And with how successful it has gone or anything, some opportunities have took place and uh, have made themselves present. And one of those opportunities, WJCT, the TV station here in Jacksonville, uh, literally across the street from Everbank Field, um, had came and approached us about trying to do some events over at their venue. So this is uh, the location, the spot we're going to be on Saturday, June 16th. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and check it out and uh, kind of give you guys a tour of what to look for and expect on Saturday, June 16th uh, for Revival 15 Road to Wasabi Con 3. Also, prelude to CEO two weeks before CEO takes place so a perfect opportunity to grind out and practice so without further ado let's take a look at what you guys are going to be seeing on Saturday June 16th right, so this is basically going to be the entrance way um, you guys I'll have parking all the parking that's out here so plenty of spots to be able to park pretty close to the entrance I'll just come through the doors here The amazing entrance way. <laughs> so everyone will enter through this door here. I pull up the stop here real quick. So this will be the entrance way here. Down the hall here. And this is where the registration tables are going to be set for the event. Uh, we'll have two registration tables, one for uh, cash and one for credit card. Yes, we are going to take card for this event. There's not an ATM that's close, so if it's more convenient for you, for you, we will have the option to be able to take card. But you'll have the registration tables here where you check in. And then this whole hallway here is going to be the artist gallery and the vendor area as well. We're going to have a lot of uh, local artists from Jacksonville here to showcase their artwork. As you can see, it's a pretty spacious hallway. Uh, one note, these back doors will not be open uh, for the event. Uh, the reason being is all that space back there is property of the city. So you will not be able to go back out that way if you wanted to, you know, smoke or vape or whatever you wanted to do. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to go back out to the main entrance. So just keep that in mind um, when you're looking around here. But yeah, so you have all this area here. Like I said, this will be for the artist gallery and the vendors that will be here for the event. So, let's now check out the uh, green room. Uh, this is an area where we're going to have uh, loading and stuff like that. So, like when Brian and GLHF come and bring their stuff and everything, uh, they're going to load up in this garage here. Oh, let me bring this up here too. Uh, this closed gate right here, this is where GLHF is actually going to be serving uh, food and drink. Um, now it is going to be food and beverage. It'll be food. Uh, it'll be a select menu available, but there will be food here and then drinks as well, including beer and wine. So <clears throat> they will have that for you here too. And this is where you'll order the food here at this little window here. So basically literally right around the corner from the entrance hallway to here is where you'll have the food and beverage for GLHF. All right. So back in here, of course, for an event that's going to be bigger like this, there is going to be a rest area here for the volunteers and anything. You got a green room for people to rest and stuff like that. You got some tables here. 
green room for commentators to kind of sit back and chill for those who want to commentate. Nice little rest area. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for, as we come back out here, where all the action is going to take place. Now they just finished up an event, so that's why there's all the chairs in the area, but here it is. This is where we're going to have all the games taking place, all the casuals. And as you can see, pretty spacious area. There'll be two stage setups, as we'll have uh, two streams going. Uh, Brian's going to have two streams, two setups going. You'll, we'll have a main stage and then another stage set over here as well for all the action to take place. This whole wall is actually a big projector. So we'll be able to have two different projectors of all the stream games taking place that you'll be able to see as well. That's how big of a wall it is. And like I said, as you can see, ton of space be able to utilize for sure so that's basically it man that's that's the entire rundown of what to expect on uh saturday june 16th it's gonna be uh, a lot of fun really looking forward to it i mean it's been a lot of support for the events and everything, and uh, you guys have had a big help in that as well with how big this has grown and how big this has gotten uh, to the point to we feel we can take a shot. We can take a chance and do an event like this. So I hope you like what you saw. hope this gives you a good idea of what to expect on Saturday, June 16th. For Revival 15. So there we go. That's the way it looks right there. This is where all the action is going to take place. There we go. Again, hope you like what you saw. And get ready. Saturday, June 16th, Revival 15. It's going to be a good one. All right, guys, so that was a tour of the uh, WJCT studios we're going to be using for Revival 15. Um, I did also want to give a quick shout-out to uh, Holly Manuel uh, over at WJCT for working things out. Uh, she has been incredibly awesome to work with in putting this together. And, uh, yeah, again, just for another, another one coming up, man, and it's our biggest one yet. If it works out well bigger things are going to be happening so we hope to see you out there revival 15 saturday june 16th hope to see you guys there